very random kind of thing that happened and the fact that I work in a building where th there's a man who potentially could have the cure to you know, Chen is, uh, is tremendous. Patrick Gunning is a researcher at the University of Toronto where Andrew works. Um, Andrew attended a, a talk which mentioned the research that Patrick was doing and from what he's told me he's kind of the rock star of researchers at the University of Toronto. How I met Andrew and Max Big Ride was very fluky. We were discussing our research in the corridor and he said, would you be interested in looking at developing drugs for Duchenne? And I said, well, we're typically oncology based and I don't think that the targets that we make drugs for are involved in Duchenne. I asked my graduate student Yasser uh, to investigate whether uh, stat proteins in particular were involved in Duchenne and lo and behold, just a year previous there had been two papers published in Nature Medicine which is one of the top research papers in the world. I actually highlighted uh, STAT3's uh, terrible role in Duchenne. So I'd definitely heard of muscular dystrophy before but not Duchenne and when the doctors told us about it they said don't Google it but uh, being the person I am I Googled it and uh, you know just tears your life apart, you know, I was unable to sleep. We knew that it was bad news to be told that your, your beautiful two-year-old at the time um, has a disease that has no cure and they told me he would live to his third or fourth decade it was absolutely devastating beyond words. But the, the one piece of good news is that there is lots of research happening and that gave us hope. You know, a few days into it, we just went on a family trip to the museum. And I remember in the gift shop seeing a, a card that said, um, falling down is part of life, but getting up is living. It really responded to me. It, it resonated with me. And uh, I think that's kind of the attitude that we've adopted, you know, from that point forward. Uh, um, you know, we, you have to fight and, and uh, you know, we're determined as a family to do so, to try and beat this. He came up with the idea for Max's big ride. He worked away largely by himself on this idea and he decided to ride across Canada, which was quickly determined that that was quite crazy because it was just way too far. <laughs> so um, he worked out the route between um, Hamilton and Ottawa, which is 600 kilometres, with Max riding in the front of the cargo bike. And it's been a really, really positive experience for our family. Ottawa is a symbolic destination because of you know, the, the decisions that might be made by Health Canada that could affect uh, children with Duchenne. So we decided uh, we would ride from Ottawa home. And I sold Max on the idea by uh, saying we would ride from ice cream shop to ice cream shop. Like he has no idea where Ottawa is or how long the distance is. And he was understandably very excited to ride from ice cream shop to ice cream shop. And uh, that's really how it was born. That ride raised uh, over $13,000. For us, this was a great way to start. And at that time, we thought, why don't we apply for a major grant from Jesse's Journey? So we did that, and uh, we got a $300,000 grant, which is now really enabling uh, the preclinical investigation of stat inhibitors in Duchenne disease. You know, once I did Max's big ride with Andrew and I, actually saw you know Max and I saw the community and I saw the people around us it was a very eye-opening experience because as a researcher we're usually in the lab it's very rare that we get to see what we do have an impact so yeah my motivation is you know just all the young uh, children that have Duchenne and if I can do anything you know one percent that I can do to try to push this a little bit more maybe five years later someone pushes it more and hopefully we live in a world soon where Duchenne is, is something that is normal and we can cure it. When we started this, the goal was just to not give up and just to fight and, and, and I guess to see where it would take us. And I really just wanted to raise uh, money for research and to raise awareness so people would know about Duchenne. I never really imagined we'd be in a position where we'd be influencing the research of professors like Patrick. So this is inconceivable and the fact that it happened is so random and it really makes me feel optimistic, like I don't tend to get excited about, uh, you know, the things that we may have accomplished along the way, but this is the one thing that, you know, I really feel very optimistic and it's, it's really exciting and it just happened a year ago and there's been so much progress in this one year, you know, if it continues like this, uh, you know, it's, it's hard not to be excited about it. Mm -hmm.